I really don't remember the beginning of Sunday dinners. They just happened a long time ago. My mother did Sunday dinners. She did, after church. So I try to get everything done. Maybe that Saturday afternoon I'll do something. Don't have to make a lot. You really don't, together, together. That's what's fun to me, is having my kids here with me. I'm just thankful they're here close, if they can come and do Sunday dinner, and they love it. They look forward to it. If I don't have it, why are we not having Sunday dinner today? So, but um, I'll do some on Sunday after, uh, Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday morning I'll get up, maybe, and if I'm having, like, this past Sunday I had beef tips and noodles, and a be strong enough, you know, type thing, big cooker. And uh, Angie had a brunch Saturday morning, maybe at her house for her workers. And uh, she brought a bunch of leftovers. So, and she comes in and makes a big production with her leftovers and there's my little, no, I'm kidding. But I always, yeah, I love doing Sunday dinners. If I don't do Sunday dinners, I'm either sick or out of town. So did you grow up at your, yeah, my, your mom? Yeah, my mom, yeah, she cooked dinner. She would cook dinner even after I moved away. Uh, we would go back on, to Mother's on Sunday most of the time, and she would cook. She'd be frying chicken when I'd walk in. That's what she'd have on Sunday dinner for Sunday dinner, is fried chicken. Would and, she have the same thing every time? No, not really, but I just remember that, that right there. That was a staple. That was, that was what she made on Sunday. And no, she didn't go out and wring her chicken's neck. She just <laughs> fried chicken. But, uh, but anyway, uh, then she'd go to church, right down the street, and she and my daddy, and um, then they'd come back and they'd finish up lunch and we'd sit down. I had seven brothers and sisters. Well, I, I had seven siblings. I had five brothers and two sisters. But one of my sisters li lived far away, so she didn't come. But we were there a lot on Sundays. And we didn't live in the same town either. How far would you drive? Oh gosh, two hours. In one direction? To come home. Mm -hmm. And you? now, and you know what we would do on Christmas Eve? We would always go to my mom and my mom and dad's for Christmas Eve. All of us would. And uh, I dreaded it then because I had kids. I had small kids, and I just dreaded it. But now I'd give anything to go back to my mom and daddy's on Christmas Eve. You know, it was just special special we didn't i mean you know my mother and daddy had all these children and my daddy was a dairy farmer and my mama did not work she stayed home and raised all of us and but they would always have something for me and something for my husband and um something together for both of us like a set of sheets or something like that but um but sunday dinners mean a lot to me so, tell me who all comes to your Sunday dinners oh, now. Andy and Jeannie. Oh, they really look forward to it. Andy and Jeannie and Audrey do. And uh, Gary and Kaylee and Max and Molly and Angie and Vance. And Joseph, my step-grandson. And um, who else have I got? Oh, goodness. I, I, I don't need to leave anybody out. Um, Jeff always comes at Christmas. He spends Christmas with us. He's always here on Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, I'm sorry, Christmas morning. And, uh, but sometimes he'll come for, for, for lunch on Sunday, sometimes. Every once in a while he does. And uh, he's always invited though, you know, he's always, he knows that. And, uh, but all my children, Kristen is always here on Sunday. And Anthony will, come, Anthony will come if he uh, if he doesn't have a soccer game. Now, he plays a lot of soccer on Sundays. So, uh, and then Lewis comes, and Joseph brings his friends. And I've had 
I've had a lot of kids to come in on Sunday after church. Owen, when he was at home, you know, before he went off to state, he'd bring three or four guys from church, you know, to eat Sunday dinner here. And they always knew that I would have plenty. I do have plenty, but a lot of times Angie used to go by George's and get chicken <laughs> on Sunday, you know. They don't do that anymore because George's is not open on Sunday, which is good, which is a good thing. What do you try to, um, do you have like a certain amount of things that you try to cook or do you just cook until your I refrigerator's just, full? All right. No, I don't do that. I'll, uh, if I have roast, I'll have potatoes and carrots, bunches, you know, I'll have, uh, I used to do mashed potatoes a lot on Sunday, but it's hard to do those, to do them right and, you know. If, if we're gonna eat on time, I'll do, I'll do potatoes in the crock pot with the roast, you know. But um, I always have vegetables. And Andy gets really tickled at me because I'll say, Andy, I got a new recipe this week. I want you to try my new dessert. And he says, but mama, this was good before. You didn't have to do anything different to it. Well, it's just really not too different. And I'll give him that and I'll say, oh, I got something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll drag out something else because I, I like to cook desserts. I like to cook, I like to bake cookies, but that's not dessert on Sunday. You know, I'll, I'll usually fix a cobbler or something, a cake or something like that on Sunday. Sometimes we'll have cookies. The kids love them. What do you, you have this table right here. I do, okay. Now that doesn't hold everybody. No, it does not. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. We're a close family. Uh, I have TV trays. We pull out TV trays. We have this, I have this little thing right here. I have three kids that sit right here on this little thing. I mean, really. And uh, they pull out TV trays. Andy will go in the den. Uh, Vance will go in the den set. We have chairs we pull up here. We have stools that we pull up here. There's this is seat six, but I can get 10 at this table. <laughs> One, two, three, four in the corner. Or if it's gorgeous outside, well, you know, some will go out and eat on the deck. You don't have to have a big dining room to have a Sunday dinner. You don't have card tables pulled out anymore? I have had card tables pulled out. Yes, I have. What do you think the, is the biggest crowd you've had here? Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. 33, maybe? 34? Wow. In the 30s. Wow. Yeah. What but time does Sunday, Sunday dinner start? Oh, sorry. Well, after church. Richard and I get home from church and... We start, you know, fixing everything, and I, we try to get out our little appetizers. Richard will put out cheese and crackers and grapes, and I always have a lot of fruit on Sundays for the kids because they love fruit, and they'll come in and eat the fruit, and uh, I'll fix a big fruit. You know, I don't buy a fruit tray. I do my own fruit, and um, we'll do sausages, you know, and crackers. Stuff like that for an appetizer if they come in early and hungry. They're always hungry. And you'll come in and, ooh, that looks good. Ooh, that looks, well, shoo, shoo, shoo. Cool, I'll finish this. And, um, but anyway, I enjoy it. I just do. I enjoy them most of all. And a lot of times after lunch, they'll pull out a game, especially this time of year. You know, Andy's a big game buff. And, and they're not simple little games like Monopoly either. <laughs> they're, they take up a lot of time. They will, will clean the table off and they'll sit down and play and laugh. I just love it. I love it. How long do they stay? Oh, probably till about 2.30, 3. Then, oh, we got to go home take a nap. We got to get a nap. Or let's go down to, uh, to Blue Mountain. What's that little place down in Blue Mountain? They want to go down there, the girls do. Let's go look, see what they They're got today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But I enjoy it a lot. When do you start planning your Sunday dinner? I don't. I don't. It just comes up in my mind, and I think, well, I think I'll have that Sunday. You know, and this time of year, I have soup. I have a lot of soup. I'll do vegetable soup, vegetable, you know, hamburger, vegetable soup. And I always have desserts, salad, you know, my fruit. 
They don't leave hungry, I can assure you. And we send all the leftovers home, especially the desserts, because Richard and I, we do not need the sweets. Um, why do you think that the tradition of Sunday dinner should stay strong? I just think it. I think that's the time that you get together with your kids and you're not rushing to go to work. And they're here to sit down. And if they've got any kind, my kids, if there's a anything going on, we talk about it. You know, in our family, if there's any trips planned, we plan them. You know, it's just essential to me to stay connected to your kids, I think. You know, and I think that's very, very important today, to stay connected to your kids. Andy and Katie Beth, even Angie, back years ago, they don't ever forget coming here for lunch, you know. And I like that memory for them to have, too. Because people really don't know you until they come in your home and, you know, eat your food and, you know. But I love to cook and they love to eat. So, and we talk about our little Christmas list. We're getting together this time of year. They play games a lot this time of year. It's just fun. It's just fun. To, and we know that our family's close and we know if we need anything, we can depend on each other. I mean, we're there for each other. You know, I don't see how people stay connected if they don't, you know, sit down at least once a week with their kids, their grown kids. And it's sad when they do move off and away. I don't know what I'd do if my grandbabies weren't here. So, and those grandbabies, they won't ever forget this, you know. My little ones, you know, they come in on Sunday, you know, and they go right over this bar because I had it full of fruit and cheese and crackers and all that, just lined up over there for them to come in and eat. When all the food's ready, how do you get everybody to gather together? Pray. It's time to pray. So one of our men pray. Do y'all all come in the kitchen we for do. that? We sure do. We do. And then do you um, line up? Yep. We line up. Just go around the counter. Yes, ma'am. And we do. I do not use it fine china. I do not. I use my paper plates, and they're stacked up. I use my solo cups, and they are over there. You fix your own drink. We have iced tea, and we have water. We have, you know, just whatever they want to drink. And the kids, I want chocolate milk. Well, get you some out of the refrigerator. There's some in there, you know. It's already there for you to get. Or Dr. Pepper, Max wants his Dr. Pepper. And of course, they probably eat healthier when they're not here on Sunday, you know, during the week. But uh, we have a lot of fun. It's just fun to me. It's never fancy. Well, at Christmas time, Angie's very fancy now. We'll go there on Christmas Eve and do our Christmas meal with her. So let's see, today is Monday. What did you have yesterday? All right. I had, um, I cooked beef tips, and, um, and then I put onion in those, and I fixed them with gravy, and I had egg noodles with that. It made a huge pot, peas, green peas with that. And rose, because my kids love rose. The babies love rose. I do not make homemade rose. I have made them, but I didn't make them yesterday. They love those Hawaiian rolls. And, um, of course, that's the beef tips alone are good in the Hawaiian rolls. And we had grape salad, which I was eating just a minute ago. And we had, what else did we have yesterday? Um, we had cheesecake yesterday. And... Angie brought in a few dips, different types of dips, and oh goodness if I can remember, but the main dish was the beef tips and noodles. Now do you know what you're going to have this coming Sunday? No. Not no, yet? No. Okay, this coming Sunday will be Owen's birthday dinner. That was Vance's birthday dinner yesterday, but he didn't want a birthday cake because Angie was bringing in all this food. She brought in a lot of uh, sweets from Amy and uh, Eli's place, too. 
and I had I had all these cookies, and Kristen stuck stuck a candle down in his cheesecake for him to blow it out. Let me think if I can guess what he might would want. Oh goodness, I don't know. Chicken and dumplings, maybe. Sometimes I do chicken and dumplings, and I'll do I always do vegetables, like I say. I'll have a salad, and I make homemade ranch. They're not easy to. I mean, they're they're very easy to please. They're just glad to be able to gather. Yes. And eat home cooked food. Yes, it's fun. I mean, yes. There's no chance that I'm getting rid of my little love table anytime soon. It would make an awesome art table, wouldn't it? It would. You wouldn't believe the kids I've had sitting around this table before. Yeah. Well, if it's too fancy, you don't want to do anything. No. no. But I'll put a tablecloth on it or butcher paper or something for the kids. Yeah. Well, any advice for anybody who doesn't uh, think this is important or thinks it's too much trouble to do? It's never too much trouble to do stuff like this for the kids. It's not, and, and that's the way I feel, you know. Um, if you uh, think in your mind about the time spent around the table when you were growing up, if you had that, which I pray that everybody uh, does have that. My mother and daddy used to, uh, they'd have people over on Sunday. My had cousins that came to eat on Sunday, and we just don't do that. I, uh, much anymore. I mean, we might get together once a year or whatever, you know, but but uh, some people may do that, you know, now. But uh, but it's just my kids and their friends and whomever, you know, wants to come and eat. And if I feel like I need more, if I feel like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough, I'll add to it. I mean, soup, you can always add to soup. So you think about that on Sundays. If you want to cook for your children or whatever, it's no problem. But fix something on Saturday afternoon. You know, put it in your refrigerator and warm it up in the morning before you go to church and, you know, have it ready when they come in. They'll appreciate that. They've worked hard all week and hopefully they'll pass it down to their kids. Oh, I think it really needs to come back now more than ever. Mimi Gabby, make sure everybody's fed when they leave. It's more about the gathering it than is. It is. the food. It is. Even if you order pizza, yeah. you're still gathering. Now, I'm going to tell you about the pizza. Uh, we do pizza if I'm not feeling real good or if I've had a, a, a big week, if I'm real tired. I have, you know, these days sometimes. Richard will say, you want to get pizzas? And they'll he'll go get the pizzas after church. And we'll have pizza all over this table. And they'll come in. It's just. And they're just as happy. Oh, yeah, they are. Well, yeah, I guess they are. <laughs> <laughs> they still come. They still come. <laughs> I'm going to have to invite you and your little husband. Yeah. We'll have to come. Uh, you will. Yeah. You sure will. And you can do ribs and crock pot. You can do. I do pork chops. Oh, yeah, I've got a son-in-law that loves fried pork chops. Now, don't try to do that on Sunday dinner. But he loves them. Gary, yeah, what you want for your birthday dinner? Oh, I love, he loves fried pork chops. So, uh, I have two or three skillets going over here with pork chops in them, you know. My kids love home fries. You have to do those, you know. So, when they come in from church, most of the time... If I'm doing something like that, I'm, I've got my, everything out, appetizers out for them to come in and eat. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. And uh, they come in and they'll start talking and laughing and, oh, they cut up and they tell jokes and we just have fun. They make fun of me all the time because I'm, always, I'm so southern and country, you know, they think, it, oh, well, anyway, they make fun of mother. It's okay. I laugh with them. But, um. Uh, they like, they don't like for me to change up stuff. Like I'll do a coconut cake. Don't make it any other way but this way. And there's something else that I made too not long ago. Mama, please don't change this up. We love it just like this. <laughs> well, I'll probably change it up, you know, because I'm, I like to do stuff like that. Do you have fun with your cooking? I do. It's, to me, it's, um, 
It's a release of anxiety, maybe, you know, to get in the kitchen and do stuff. I like to do homemade biscuits. You know, I don't make them a lot because Richard and I both are on diets, and I like, you know, we love homemade biscuits, though. And my kids would love it if they walked in from the church and I had breakfast. Now, on Christmas morning, we'll have brunch around 11. They'll come in because they have their little ones, and they'll come in and I'll have a breakfast casserole. They'll all bring something. I'll always have um, um, my cider going over there in that pot over there in the corner, my cider thing, and and uh, they'll come in and get their cider with the red hots in it. And Richard will do the scrambled eggs, and I'll cook bacon. I'll have biscuits. I'll do two or three breakfast casseroles. I'll fruit, lots of fruit and cheese and, you know, and they'll come in and they'll eat and eat and then we'll open gifts. And we just have so much fun. Do you have recipes written down? I do have some recipes written down. I have a good many recipes written down, as a matter of fact. You may know about my goop. No. Elena Bell might have. It's a dip that we eat with Tostitos and it's made with hamburger meat and all this good stuff you put in it. You know, some people make sausage dip. Well, this is called Goop, and it's a special recipe of mine that's in a cookbook, a couple of cookbooks over there. And uh, I, Kristen called me back last year, the year before, wanting to know that recipe, you know. And I told it to her, and I said, now write this down. And every time she's gonna make it, she called me. I need that recipe. <laughs>